welcome to Bonnetron. Today we are going to talk about dissipating regenerative energy from a VFD. Regenerative energy is created whenever a motor is running faster than the drive's set speed. This can be when a drive is braking during the process or controlling a load that is being lowered on a crane, downhill conveyor, or similar type of process. The regenerative energy causes the voltage on the drive's DC bus to rise. If there is nowhere for the energy to dissipate to, the drive will trip out on an over-voltage fault. The two most common ways to dissipate this excess energy is by using a braking transistor and resistor, such as a Bonitron M3452 chopper and M3775 resistor, or a regen unit, such as the Bonitron M3545 or the Bonitron M3645. A braking transistor and resistor converts the excess energy to heat. In most cases, the heat that is dissipated cannot be used for anything else in the facility. It can also cause higher heat loads for the facility's HVAC system, meaning larger HVAC units would be needed, which would increase the facility's utility bill. The other common way to capture regenerative energy is to use a regeneration unit. These units convert the excess energy to AC power to be fed back to the facility's power grid, allowing it to be used elsewhere in the facility. This can lead to lower utility bills. It also does not generate the amount of heat that a braking resistor does, which means that the facility's HVAC system does not have to work as hard to overcome the excess heat. If you are running your process using a generator, you should consult with Bonitron first, because regening to a generator can be a little tricky. Bonitron offers two regeneration units, the M3545 and the M3645. The M3545 units can cover regenerative energy up to 15 amps. The M3645 units can cover regenerative energy up to 300 amps. If 300 amps is not enough for your process, you can parallel the 150 amp and larger units together. These units are also offered as a power supply model, the M3545P and M3645P. These would power your drive as well as provide regen for the excess energy. This can be useful in common bus applications with one power supply feeding multiple drives. Today we are going to demonstrate an M3645 unit. The unit we have connected is an M3645-H030-M10-D. This is a 480 volt AC unit that is capable of regenerating 30 amps of current continuously. For this setup, we have a 30 horsepower drive. That drive is connected to two 5 horsepower motors that are going to be running at 50 hertz. The shafts of these two motors are then coupled to two identical 5 horsepower motors that are going to be running at 60 hertz fed straight from the wall. This will simulate an overhauling load on the drive. The M3645 unit is connected to the same AC source as the drive and then connected to the drive's DC bus connections. We have both of those connections fused using our M3645F fuse plates. These fuse plates help simplify installation by incorporating the AC fuses into one fuse plate and the DC fuses into another fuse plate. All right, to get started, first I'm gonna start the drive. As you can see, our output frequency is 50 hertz and our motor speed is about 1,499 RPM, almost 1,500 RPM. Now I'm going to turn on the load motors to simulate an overhauling condition. So you can see the regen went active right when I did that. And we'll take a look at the regen's display. As you can see, we got our regen active light illuminated. This is our main display. It shows the bus voltage, current, power, and the unit's uptime. Our current bus voltage is 695 volts. We're regenerating 17 amps right now. The power is 11 kilowatts, and the unit's been up for three hours and 54 minutes. Below that are some lifetime stats for the unit. Total energy regenerated is five kilowatts, and the resettable timer has been one kilowatt. To reset that resettable timer, you go down one more time, and you press enter to reset it, and then you say yes, and there it resets it. Now if you're back on the main screen, 
If you go over to the right, we'll show a fault history. The only faults we have right now are from when the regen has been powered on. All right, let's talk about uh, energy savings. Now that we're done with our demonstration, let's take a look at our online savings calculator to see if a Bonitron regeneration unit is right for your process. First, we'll go to www.bonitron.com M3645. That'll bring you to this screen here. From there, we'll scroll down and you can select savings calculator. Now we'll just have a few fields to fill in. We're using two five horsepower motors in parallel, so our total horsepower would have been 10. We'll say our duty cycle is 75%. And we'll say we're open Monday through Friday, so that'll be 262 days a year. And we'll say we run 24 hours a day. And we'll leave the cost of the kilowatt hours at 11 cents. So when we calculate that, we see that a Bonitron regeneration unit would have saved over $3,800 in energy costs for the year. We hope you enjoyed today's video. For more information on the Bonitron regeneration units and any other Bonitron products, go to www.bonitron.com. We'd also love it if you connect with us on LinkedIn and Facebook, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you in the next video.